Back network in the Northeast Conference make a little pit stop here at the William H. Pitt Center in Fairfield, Connecticut. As the 14 and 14, 7 and 10 FDU Knights visit the 17 and 11, 11 and 6 Sacred Heart Pioneers. Now, Sacred Heart doesn't always press, but I think they're just trying to turn the Knights over a little bit. Whoa. How about Jesmyra Sanders letting it fly from the right corner and Sacred Heart now trailing <laughs> 6 to 5. He passes off to her right, Evans. Taylor gets it right back on the right side. Throws it up from the free throw line and connects for the Knights. Here's Panky driving in underneath the basket. Ah. Oh, what a move. This season, but to motivate the team. And I think the seniors have uh, really done a nice job with that. Speaking about a nice job, right how about door. Alyssa Mayrose, <laughs> Alyssa Mayrose right there cutting to the basket. Myra Sanders has it. It's a two on two. Now a trailer is Panky coming down the middle. Count the basket and the foul. Sykes, the red shirt senior, throws it in the middle. Nice touch pass in the corner. To Panky for three. He's met back in early January as Norman comes in and gets it with the basket high off the glass. Oh, credit Coach Winton there. Ah, oh, great oh, nice steal. Interception. Norman with the strip and the score. Now only 10 on the shot clock. Driving in from the right on Saunders. Count the basket and the foul. The first half will come to an end. Sacred Heart with the lead 35 to 28. She got off to a big start. What are you going to do about her defensively? Well, we're not going to play zone anymore. We're not going to be with our pressure. But, uh, you know, I thought uh, FDU's defense was terrific those first uh, 12 to 14 minutes. It really knocked us back on our heels, smacked us in the face. And uh, it's a good thing we recovered. Blair Kaszowski hit a big three for us, kind of loosened things up a little bit. I was kind of happy with the way we are playing towards the half. But I think FDU's defense is really what knocked us back. Now, we talked about your, your young freshman point guard, Eric Norman. She's been tremendous this last six minutes of the first half for you. You're right, the last six minutes. The first, you know, she was off. She was kind of in a funk, so uh, took her out real quick just to kind of settle her down. I think that's what happens to freshmen sometimes. And, uh, you know, then she started playing the way we're used to her playing. So adjustments defensively, what will you do in the, sec in the second half with FDU? Well, we we got we, we can't give up as many open looks. Or they're usually not that great from three, but tonight they seem to be hitting the three. So we got to be a little bit tighter, uh, tighter on them out in the out in the you know the the wings and so forth and stop their dribble penetration. Good luck in the second half. Thanks, Phyllis. Coach, the last part of the first half. Erica Norman got to the rim a lot. What are you going to do to change defensively yeah, against her? To keep it out of the paint. We're going to pressure her, but then late in the clock, we got to give her room, and we got to meet her in the paint and take some charges on her. They went a five-guard offense, and the paint was open for her to drive. We did a good job with a five-point lead there with four minutes to go, and then she really got a lot of buckets those last three minutes. So we got to keep her out of the paint and take some charges on her. What are you going to do to get Mariah Larry some shots this second half? we gotta, we got to screen her off, and she got to work harder and find ways to get some hustle points, get it open, find ways to get the ball. Thanks. Good luck in the second half. Clamp down defensively here. Uh, no question. Oh, great look. That's a set look. A nice back to good young players that have come in the league. So. Cosgrove spots for three. Maggie Cosgrove. Oh, that's a long year, especially 18 games in, in a year. Four on two. Fast break for Sacred Heart. Alan Taylor with the finish. Here's Merriman. Merriman, nice find. Campbell coming in from the left and taking it right to the basket. On Saturday, again, nice find. Straight to the basket, Kylie Evans. That was not an instant replay. And for Sacred Heart. And because the Northeast Conference is Saunders lets one fly for three, and she's trying to get her scoring touch back on. She connects as FDU pulls back within 14. We're here in Fairfield, six minutes to go. It's the Pioneers by 11 looking for more. That's Campbell, nothing but nylon. Layup, Lori up ahead in transition. Lori trying to take it in herself. Nice floater. Saunders with a pump fake, got past. Cosgrove comes in for a closer look and drains it along the right baseline. Three ball rims out, Saunders rips it away from the defense off the glass. Trying to take on Cosgrove herself, count the basket and the foul. Get it, nice job by Crawford, leaping above the rest of the pack, bringing down the rebound quickly, beating the defense up the floor, Jasmira Saunders. 15, FDU needs a quick shot, Saunders gets back iron, Panky with the offensive board, steps back behind the perimeter. Quick inbounds, again, final nine seconds. Saunders putting it up along the baseline, shot short. She gets her own rebound, throws it up in the lane. That shot was short. Taylor with the rebound, and that should do it. The Sacred Heart Pioneers come away with a 65-59 victory. Callan Taylor, Callan, congratulations on a, on a win, and how do you feel about your team getting set to go into uh, Northeast Conference Championships? 
Yeah, the, the, you know, this win was really important for us to get uh, a good a note going into the tournament on a win. And um, hopefully Saturday uh, we can work hard and, you know, play well. Talk about your freshman point guard. What has she meant to this team since Lisa Apple went down? Yeah, she's really stepped up uh, a big time, um, both offensively and defensively. She's been um, a key player for us. I, I couldn't be more proud. Uh, today she had some really good uh, momentum plays, and um, she really stepped into the role really well. You've been, like, double teamed all night long. People double teaming down on you. What's your mindset coming into games, knowing that every single night? Um, you know, just if it's a hard, you know, look for the open player because someone's got to be open um, and just, you know, trying to be strong and make good decisions. Well, congratulations on a great year. I have my all-conference team. I have you on the first team, so hopefully that's the way things end up for you. Congratulations. Thank you. Coach, I know you're sitting here a little bit kind of like, what was that about? You had a 15-point lead, yeah. but your team held on. you got to be very pleased about coming out here with a W. Yeah, I am. I just, you know, I thought at times tonight, you know, we were unfocused. I thought we came out uh, tonight unfocused and uh, take nothing away. I thought after you... Uh, you know, really outplayed us uh, pretty much the entire night. And, you know, we made, we had a couple key runs. I think we had a 14-0 run, you know, at the end of the first half, and then we had a little run there at the midway point of the second half. But, uh, you know, we got to get a little bit better at a, at a lot of things, and uh, and coaching is one of them. we got to get we got to do everything a little bit better starting on Saturday. I love the way you spread the floor out, especially in the second half. You had a lot of back doors that you weren't completing, but, you know, that's tough to defend you when you go to your four-guard offense. Yeah, you know, that's something that we've, we've kind of went to the – I'd say the last, uh, you know, three weeks or so. And, uh, you know, we have uh, Cal and Taylor who can uh, handle the ball, can shoot the ball outside. And uh, we have some slashers that we're trying to take advantage with their with their five out. And if all else fails, then we try giving the ball to Erica Norman to go to the basket. Now, what are your thoughts as you head into Northeast Conference Championships? It's crazy right now. Uh, St. Francis PA is going into overtime. So there's a lot of things that are going on. What are your thoughts as you go into championship? You know, I, I don't know. I don't know if it really matters where you know how you're playing, where you're playing. I think it matters how you're playing, and uh, you know whether you play bad tonight, you play good tonight. You got to you, you know you got to get the job done on, on Saturday, and we're just gonna you know we don't know who we're playing, but we're looking forward to Saturday's game, and then uh, you know we'll move forward from there. Well, congratulations on uh, on a really terrific year, and did a great job with this team with the injuries, and I love your freshman point guard. Thanks, Phyllis. I appreciate that.